hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to learn about caesar cipher technique in substitution techniques of information security subject okay so so far we have learned about mono alphabetic ciphers and poly alphabetic ciphers and they are very easy they are very easy to understand they are very simple also cipher text is also very simple i mean caesar cipher is also very simple here also you will be converting plain text into cipher text by using a formula okay c is equal to e of 3 comma p which is equal to p plus 3 mod 26 okay where c here you have c right c stands for cipher text cipher text is equal to encryption e stands for encryption encryption of 3 comma p where p is the plain text okay so cipher text is equal to encryption of 3 comma p where p stands for plain text so here 3 comma p you cannot understood understand it right so i have elaborated it p plus 3 mod 26 right here p stands for plain text so p plus 3 mod 26 you have to do so uh, for example i'll show you suppose you have to find the cipher text for the alphabet a okay for alphabet a what is the corresponding cipher text we have to find out let us suppose then you have to substitute in this formula that means what is the corresponding value of a you have to give numberings uh, to the alphabet okay you have to start from 0 and end with 25 we have 26 alphabets right as we are starting with 0 we will get up to 25 okay for each and every alphabet you have to give the numberings right after giving the numbering so p plus 3 mod 26 what is the corresponding number of a it is 0 so 0 plus 3 you have to take okay 0 plus 3 mod 26 0 plus 3 is simply 3 right you have to do 3 mod 26 3 mod 26 is nothing but 3 right so whatever the number you are having uh, whatever the alphabet you are having at 3 what is that you are having at 3 d you are having right so d is the corresponding cipher text of the plain text a this is plain text and this is cipher text okay d is its corresponding cipher text now let us try to find out for b for b it is going to be 1 right so 1 plus 3 mod 26 1 plus 3 is nothing but 4 so 4 mod 26 is nothing but 4 you will get so what is what is the alphabet that you are having at 4 you are having e so here you will get e right again if you do for 2 you will get 5 so it will be f so simply remember you have to close this 3 first because you are having 3 here right 3 3 so first simply close this 3 and then write all d e f g h i j and all of them in an order and in the last you will be left out with x y z there you can write a b c okay how will you get a b c there i will show you that also let us do for x first 23 you will get here right so 23 23 plus 3 mod 26 23 plus 3 is 26 26 mod 26 mod is nothing but you have to take the remainder right so when you do 26 mod 26 you will get 0 okay so what is that you are having at 0 you are having a so under x you will get a and for y if you do instead of 23 you will have here 24 simple you have to remember this formula and keep on substituting all the values in the formula okay so 24 plus 3 is 27 27 mod 26 you have to do then you will get a remainder of 1 okay under one which alphabet do you have b so here you will have b in the same way here you will get c got it so now you understood how to write the corresponding cipher text using caesar cipher method right you have to remember this single formula only now we will do an example i have written the corresponding cipher text for all the alphabets okay i have written them in small letters just to differentiate okay these are uh, these capital letters are plain text and the small letters are its corresponding cipher texts okay so uh, you understood clearly how we got the cipher text alphabets right you can check it out for any of the alphabet randomly you pick an alphabet and you'll check it out you'll be getting this okay now we will be trying to apply this to our example uh, let us take example as trouble fee which is our channel name so 
first we have t right what is the ciphertext corresponding to t we have to identify first what is the ciphertext corresponding to t we have here under t we have w right so w and r under r we have u okay and under o under o we have r right next we have u and under u we have x and b under b we have e next l for l we have o and for e we have h okay trouble is written in this way next for free also let us try to uh, write the cipher text for f it is i for r it is u again and for e it is h and for the second e also it is going to be h okay so this is plain text and this is cipher text if i send the message as trouble free everybody can understand but if it is decoded into uh, if it is changed into unreadable format like this then nobody can cannot understand that right so of course trouble free is not a very confidential data that is a data which has to be known to everybody of course but still for example i have taken it okay for example when you decode i mean when you change it into a cipher text by using caesar cipher method you will be doing it in this way okay now encryption part is done so this is encryption part right this is encryption then how about decryption if you are given this message and you have to convert it into trouble free the plain text how do you do that this is plain text and this is cipher text right so decryption is done by p is equal to p refers to plain text d refers to decryption so plain text will be equal to decryption of 3 comma c where c stands for cipher text that is nothing but c minus 3 mod 26 okay what is c here the alphabets which you have in cipher text stands for c first we have w right so what is the numerical value of w we have 22 so we have to do c minus 3 mod 26 right 22 minus 3 will give you 19 right 19 mod 26 you have to do 19 mod 26 which is equal to 19 itself so under 19 what is the alphabet you have t right so when you converted the cipher text w into plain text you got t itself which is our first letter in the same way you will be getting each and every letter also okay if you are asked about caesar cipher try to explain about both encryption and decryption process also understood so the very important thing that the very important and the thing which you have to do very carefully is writing this corresponding cipher text for all the alphabets first write down for all the alphabets and this is actually done by using this formula but we can do it in shortcut also just three places ahead what is three places ahead of a b c d we have and three places ahead of d we have c d and we have e right and three places ahead of c we have f in that way you can write corresponding alphabets simultaneously okay that's all for this video this is about caesar cipher for encryption we use this for decryption we use this in encryption we will be finding out the corresponding cipher text and in decryption we will be finding out the corresponding plain text okay caesar cipher is also very simple and very easy right and that's all for this video guys in the next video we will be learning about playfair cipher hill cipher one time pad and all so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and do not forget to share it with your friends and if you have understood whatever i have explained in the video clearly do not forget to hit the like button if you want me to include any other subjects or any other topics let me know in the comments so that i'll do it for you if you have missed out the previous videos of this playlist i will share the link in the description you can check out the previous videos also right thank you for watching the video guys